Today we replace that Dream Machine Pro with this Dream Machine SE. So Unify very kindly sent me a Dream Machine SE. SE is Special Edition. I don't know why it's Special Edition. It's kind of like the right edition, I think. Because the reason I want to upgrade is that the new version of the Dream Machine, so it has the same processor, it has the same memory, it has the same pretty much all the running gear. But this one has eight PoE ports. It has six standard PoE and has two PoE Plus ports, where the Dream Machine Pro has none. None of it was PoE powered. So that's a big benefit. I can actually power stuff directly from this and I'm, um, you, you don't need a switch to go with it because it'll power stuff. So unless you have more than eight things that needs PoE, then you don't need a switch. And it has 128 gigabytes SSD built in so that you can run Protect out of the box. Now I'm gonna try and just move the hard drive that's in here, directly into here, see what happens. But you don't need a hard drive to get started. And then it has uh, two WAN ports just like the other one, but now one of them, the, the normal, uh, has a 10 gigabyte fiber, a 10 gigabit fiber, and a two and a half gigabit uh, RJ45 now, where the other one was one gigabit. So that's a slight upgrade. Probably not gonna make much difference considering I have Starlink and I don't get gigabit, but it's nice to have. Um, and then, <clears throat> finally, I also just wanna try and migrate it because, yeah, we'll get into all the migration stuff, but, I can't find any good articles on how to migrate from the Pro to the SE. So I've made up my own list. Yeah, but first, let's have a look at the device, see what's in the box. All right, so let's see what's in the box. I know. So it's always lovely, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Whoop. So stand it with this will be all the gubbins to attach it to the rack, I say. Yeah, so there's a power cord. Oh, that's very nice. A scan here to get started. Okay, that's the start menu. And then this is usually, I would guess, yeah, so these are all the different screws and whatnot that are needed for putting it on the rack. And then if you're not rack mounting it, there's some little vibration dampers here to put underneath it. But I'm gonna replace it with the rack, obviously. And then of course, there's the, the machine itself. And here's how it comes. It's very well packaged, actually. As you'd expect, because it's unified. I know. Um, <clears throat> comes this little bag here, I'll just take it out. So this is just standard size, uh, one RU for a rack. And uh, you can see it looks very similar to the Dream Machine Pro. Got the same on the front. It says SE here, of course, and there's a display. And then this is the hard drive bay, and then there's the eight PoE, where the two first ones are PoE Plus. So that's nice, if you need PoE Plus, a bit more oomph. And then there is the internet connection, RJ45, and there's two SFP fiber connections on the side here as well. They're 10 gigs, and this is a two and a half. So that's the new one, two and a half gigs instead of one. And on the back, uh, this is for the USB connect. So if you have the <clears throat> Unify uh, smart power system, you can power it through here. So that's, it knows if the power goes, etc. It's not a U It's not a UPS system, as far as I know, but you can use that there with a special plug. And this is obviously just where the plug goes in. Very nice, you know, plug here. Hey, so that's what there is in the box. Yeah. And now, <clears throat> hello, we should go and um, back up everything and turn it off and cross everything we got. That, that will work for the migration. Right, so now we're in the unified console. And the plan here is to get a backup of everything and then so we can migrate to the UDMSE. <clears throat> anyway, there's, um, I haven't found a great article on how to do this, but there is a little bit of help here from Unify. So there's a help page here, I'll link that below as well. And it says here, as you can see, there is, um, we have the Unify backups and migration, which is what we want to do. It says you're replacing Unify OS console with a new one, same model. We're not doing that. We are upgrading our Unify OS console to a different model. So, but apparently this should just work with the config. So we'll see, uh, but it is a different model. Right. So there are types of backups here. Um, Unify OS backup, that's what we're doing to start with. And that is for, as it says here, uh, the entire system configuration, including your Unify OS console, user application, and device settings, right? So that's just the settings 
for the UDM Pro, not for everything else, not for the network protector, etc. Um, and that's a um, migrating all applications. So that's what we're doing. We're going to use this to start with, and then we're going to need these application backups. So that's for each of the application being network, protect, access, and LED that I have. So those four. Uh, but you need to back up specifically for each of those. So we'll do that as well. That is not entirely obvious at first. I thought you just download one config backup for the whole UDM, a UDM Pro, and then migrate that. But no, you need uh, one for each application as well. So that's what we're doing. We replace our old Unify console, and then we restore our system configuration uh, using the backup file, and then we do each application. That's the plan, right? There's also another file here, a uh, help file that I found, which is migrating from Cloud Key to Cloud Key or UDM, and that was kind of helpful just to get a bit of a, a, a you know a bit of context around it. But no, it's a bit a bit older article. You can see here that's the old old settings page. But so those two I've used, and with that, let's create a backup of the Unify console, Unify OS. So I'll go into settings for the console, not for each of the applications, go to system. And then here we can create a new backup. So create a backup. Make sure that we have one that's current, right? Um, so do it as late as possible, I guess. And that will then have, as I said before, your users, uh, your login credentials. So I should be able to have the same credential logging in with two-factor authentication and everything. Um, it'll have which application you use, but not the data for the application. Important point. Here we go. So we have successfully backed it up. And now we want to download that backup locally. I want it on my computer so I can upload it to the console as well, right? So click on download. And that just comes up in a file. And this is a .unify file. <laughs> we'll get to file extensions in a minute. It's a bit interesting. All right, so I'm going to go to my network. There we go. So there's the dashboard for that. Go to settings as well. And then under system, you will find, when it loads, down here under backup, you can download the settings for your network. So we just need the settings. The other choices are last seven days, 30 days, etc. We don't need all the data. Well, I don't need all the data for that, like consumption data, I'm assuming. I just want the settings. So I'm going to download the settings. And that goes like that. And this is a .unf file. Yeah. Then I'm going to go to protect. And you probably get the gist now, but I'm going to go to settings. And here, go to settings. And then... Let's just scroll down a bit. There's an export configuration download migration file. Hey, that's a good sign. We do want to migrate. So yeah, we want the migration file. And this is obviously to get all the settings for the cameras across to the new machine. Yeah. So, and then we go to access. That's for my door. And by the way, if you want to know more about these applications, I've linked to them up there. I've got other videos explaining how to do those, especially Unify Access. That's pretty cool. I like this. Go to settings. And under backup and recovery, we want to back up and download this, which is also a zip file, just like access, uh, protect. So access and protect are both zip files. Go figure. And then finally, we're going to go to the LED. So I've got two LED panels up here. Again, I've created a video on what those do. And this is a very old style uh, dashboard. I don't know if they still maintain and update this product, but it works just fine. Go to settings. Again, the settings is down the left, which used to be like two years ago. And I want to download, not the last backup. I want to create a backup of the current system. I want to make sure. And then this is a, a password to encrypt your backup. I don't know. For my lights, it doesn't make any sense. But this comes up in plain text, of course. So I'm going to use last clean tech because why not? It's the name of the YouTube channel. And here we go. So now we have our five files. So here, if I just pull this across, <clears throat> we have Unify Core Backup, so that's the OS. That's a .unify file, 8.7 meg. We have a Network Backup file, which is a .unf file. We have a Unify Protect zip file. We have a Unify Access zip file, and a Unify LED or ULED .backup file, only 37K, so not much data in there. Well, let's just have a look what's in the zip files here. Oh. Cannot open. So I'm wondering if it's not actually a zip file. That's a bit weird. Can we open the other one? Okay, so that works. So this is the protect one. Okay, so we got NVRs, we've got devices, device key, bridges, cameras. 
yeah, so they'll have, you know, cameras and etc. all the settings for all my cameras. So those are the five files that we need. And now we can go ahead and we can shut down the Unify UDM Pro, right? Because we don't want two of them running at the same time because then they're going to get confused who owns what device. We want to migrate. So we're going to shut this one down now. We're going to do that by going uh, to the Unify console. Like so. We're going to go to settings. And in here, under system, if you scroll down a bit, you can see we can turn off the console. Make sure you always turn off the console. Don't just yank the power. That's why I have a UPS on it as well. Because especially the network controller really doesn't like that. It'll... It can mess it up, something shocking. So make sure you always turn things off properly. And yes, this will be fine, right? We can just kind of migrate it all with no drama, hopefully. Yeah. Anyway, next we'll um, replace the actual console and then uh, we'll migrate the data. All right. That now says save to power off on the UDM Pro. So I can actually disconnect the power to it, which would be great. Um, and then we'll, uh, I'm just going to use the same fasteners actually, I'm not going to break out the new kit at all, and just plug in where it was. This is the cable to the switch, so that's the only one I'm using. Uh, this is Starlink, the white one, and this was the backup. I created a video when I installed Starlink to have another backup internet connection because I didn't trust Starlink. I do trust them now actually to be, um, have a, a decent uptime, so I don't use this anymore. So I can disconnect it, so I don't need that one. But let's, um, let's replace the hardware. Hmm. All right, <clears throat> so that's in. Um, I did use, end up using the new brackets on the sides because I had to take them off the old one anyway to use them and maybe they changed them slightly, the, the screw holes or whatever. So I just used the new ones, um, plugged in my switch, Starlink. I haven't powered it on yet. Next, I'm gonna try and adopt it or set it up with the app, the phone app. Apparently that's the easiest way to do it using a Bluetooth connection. So um, that's next. So the phone app didn't work. It was just in discovery mode the whole time and it just wouldn't find the UDMSE, right? So it was apparently the way you're supposed to do it, but wouldn't find it. It found a bunch of other access points that are now orphaned. <laughs> uh, they're sending out Bluetooth thing, but no, didn't find it. So I'm gonna try to do it another way. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi because now the Wi-Fi is, is there. The SSIDs are there, but because there's no controller, I can't actually log into them. But I think what's going to happen is if I try and connect to the last frontier. So I'm going to try and connect. So here it goes directly. It, it just automatically went to Unify. So now on my Wi-Fi, but I'm not on the Wi-Fi. But, ta-da! We have a UDM SE setup wizard. Right, so I'm just going to close that new tab. Don't need that. Um, so I'm going to try and set it up from here. And this is also the computer I've got all the backup files on. So... Let's try and see if that is the way to do it. So I'm going to set up UDM SE. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Console name. <clears throat> We're going to call this Merlewood. Name of the farm. I'm going to agree to the terms. Yep. Okay, step one of eight. Sure. It's a personal. Yes, let's go with personal. Uh, sign in. All right. So... We'll paste that in here, <clears throat> and then, uh, the, the, well, Starlink is connected to the UDS, UDMSE, so there is interconnection to that, so hopefully that's all it needs. 2FA token, which would be on my phone, so so that's good. So it found the token, it found the 2FA token um, flow. Update schedule, oh, okay. Uh, yep, <clears throat> that's fine. Configuration, basic configuration. Uh, no, I don't want to send diagnostics. Not right now, anyway. Starting speed tests, of course. That's 
number one to figure out how good our service is. Okay, so this is Starlink speed test right now. Running at 80 megabit, that's okay. Are we happy yet? All right, sure. Uh, adjust to what has been promised. Well, actually, I think it's more like 225. It's usually what I get, around 200, 160, 200, 220, something like that. Um, click next, okay. But I want this to, I wanna, I wanna restore it, but maybe I can do that in just a second. So setting up the console, okay, configuring devices, network settings. This may take several minutes, all right. I'll be back when this is done. I still haven't figured out how to put SSL on my local uh, Unify connection. So let me know in the comments if you know how to do that. Okay, yes. Well, would you do? Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Let's see how much of it has been restored. Okay, let's see what we got. Console is updating. Okay, so we're just gonna let it update. We don't have a choice. Okay, so the console is now updated, apparently. Um, time to uh, restore some configuration. So I'm going to go to settings. And I'm assuming this is going to look very similar. Aha, so there we go. We've got network, we've got protect. And we can set up the other. We don't want to do that. Right? We don't want to set up anything. We want to just migrate the configuration and then all the settings should be there for this particular thing. So go to system. I want to restore. I can upload a backup file. That's exactly what I want to do. So where's the backup file? So yeah, there's just the one we can choose from. There's the unified backup. So we're going to choose that. Uploading backup. The file is corrupt. Great. Why is the file corrupt? <laughs> it's the one I just made. All right, so here's the weird thing. Um, the console looks fine it just says network on it and it's responsive like the udm pro would have been so the udm se seems fine i cannot load the web interface which is this address here which i just used before it just gets circle of death it just doesn't do anything however the network app on my phone does work and i can connect to the udm se and the wi-fi works so i have internet connection but it says there's no access points if I go to the access points, there's a whole list of access points that I have, which were on the old console. And it says, it looks like some unified devices may have been previously adopted to another console. Well, yes. Would you like to reassign them all to Merlewood UDMSE? So I can reassign them all in one, pressing one button, um, which is great, but I'd like to use the backup or restore the backup that we just made earlier. But I can't actually get into the console from the web interface to upload the file. Um, Unify Protect on the phone, by the way, does something similar. It says there are no cameras, but if I go to the camera tab, there's all the cameras. It says they're managed by another console. And if I go into each one of them, I can actually go reassign to this console. So I can go through each one of them and I can reassign it. But again, that's not the point. I want to use the backup so I get all the settings and everything that I had with them so I don't have to go and manipulate them again. That would be nice. Um, right. I think I might go and try and restart the UDMS, UDMSE, uh, which means cutting the power to it, which is not ideal. But I don't know what else to do. Um, it's not responding. It looks fine down there. I mean, down there, I say that's in the house, the server room. I'm in the office now. It's a bit weird. Yeah, Unify, it's um, not a great experience, I must say. I thought this would have been a lot simpler. So I actually didn't go down. I haven't restarted the UOD MSE. Um, I just uh, tried opening the portal in Edge instead of Chrome, and it loaded. So I think there was some sort of caching issue or something. But um, let's just sign in here. Automatic updates enabled. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm not a big fan of automatic updates. I'm just going to confirm that. Um, all right, so we haven't got the config upload. Let's just try that again. Yeah, so access and talk are not set up, which means that we haven't got our config. So I'm going to try and restore 
again. I'm going to upload a backup file. Upload. Let's just see if we can actually go into the network then and see if we can upload that config. For some reason it won't do. I had three different ones I've done over the past day and none of them work. So that's the UDM Pro uh, config backup that I'm trying to upload to the UDM SE and restore it and it doesn't want to do it. So, okay. Let's try and go to network. Right, <clears throat> so I haven't set any of this up, by the way. This is, and this why it says there's no APs because none of them are adopted into this. So I'm going to go into system and I'm going to try and restore a backup. So there's two that I made. We're going to take the later one, almost at the same time. So it's uploading that file. And there was an error uploading the backup. The backup file you're trying to load includes a newer version of the Unified Network application that is incompatible. So what I said, okay, so there was an update here, update available. Let's just try and update that first then, and then see if we can restore. Not something you just do in half an hour, that's for sure. Huh, how would you do that? If you only had a backup, say you did a backup three days ago, and then the controller updated, and you didn't have a newer backup for the newer version, and then it died. How would you restore it then if it's not the same version? Yeah, right. Anyway, if you know that, let me know in the comments, because I can't figure that one out if they have to be the same version. Okay, so the network controller's updated. So let's try and uh, go into it again and try and update it. I mean, uh, restore it from the backup. Okay, go to system. Let's hope it's the same version. Might not be. Let's import backup. There we go. 7292. Is that one we just got? Aha! Uh -huh. Restart required to complete restore from backup. Are you sure you want to restore site default from backup? Yeah. Let's just do it. Hey? <clears throat> Restoring backup. Oh, well, now we're getting somewhere. Hopefully. Okay, we got something back here. Does that mean that it has been restored? It still says restoring here. Let's go to the dashboard, have a look. No, it's probably still restoring. Have we got any devices here at all? Oh yeah. Yep, 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 yep. You can see here the switches are now starting to come online. There we go, now all the switches are there. We got all our access points. All right, well, this is a good start. Right, still restoring backup apparently. So let's go back to the dashboard and see what we got. Data's been collected, so that's a good start. And we got all of the access points and switches are now in this controller for the UDMSE. So that's a good start. All right, so I didn't have to do anything other than restore the backup. Thank God. Well, it has to be the same version again. There's a bit of conundrum there with that version. Okay, well, I guess next is the protect. Uh, it still says restoring backup, but uh, let's just let it do its thing. So I'm going to go into protect. And I'm going to go to the settings here. And then I'm going to go to, oops, import backup file. Right, we'll see if we can do it at the same time here. So we got a, which one was it? Access, Unify Protect Backup, zip. We're going to open that one up. And we'll see if it's happy with that. You sure you want to import this backup? Yes, I do want to import that backup. Import successful. Okay, Protect Online. Cool, yeah, that's probably because it's redoing it. So let, I'm going to have a look at the app again. It's handy having the app on the phone. Unable to connect. Okay, so the... It's probably just restarting the, the console, I'd imagine. But I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna remove these notifications here. Okay, so what happens with network? Is network still up? This is a bit of a journey, isn't it? Alright. 
so the network controller seems to be just fine oh look at all the devices yeah we got icons back so that's good so the icons that i assign to things it says there are 63 devices there should be a bit few more but anyway that's a good sign yeah there's a whole bunch of shellies nanostations etc now that seems to work all right <clears throat> let's see if the protect that has come up again yep and we've got the cameras back see if we can see something yep there's the car port that's fantastic console update it <clears throat> lost power well it update it see we got any llamas hey okay so this looks like protect is working okay so this is probably the way that you have to do it so i'm going to go to unify os <clears throat> and install the last two applications manage updates there we go so i'm going to update i'm going to update access and i wonder how i get leds back where are my led lights okay so access has now been uh, updated i'm going to set that up then and uh, no access devices detected i'm going to set it up anyway and i'm going to try and import that backup and we'll see if we can get our door lock back all right show notifications i haven't seen that before but sure go for it and no i don't want to do that right now okay i've read yep i've read it go no access okay yep i know um default i'm just going to skip all this and yep that's an access schedule set a video capture yep sure oh, okay hard drive it does have a hard drive there's an ssd in there but perhaps that doesn't work for access interesting um all right set up thank you and just give me some settings so i can uh sure no go away go to settings and i'm going to go to backup and recovery i'm going to select backup okay let's see if this works and here's our access backup right there yes i want to restore that backup please restore user data yeah you yep yeah, that's exactly it restore backup why does it ask me again oh there we go <laughs> what okay right so that's three from four i think how do i get the leds back the leds were in the udm pro as an application but i don't have them here they're right there they are working All the controls are working so we got access back so let's have a look and see if the door lock is actually in there hey and there's me entering the office door fantastic so that's now oh there's something that needs my attention what would that be ah something's offline okay what's offline the door lock is offline um i just used it like to get in here just before so i'm not sure why that is anyway that's something to figure out a bit later I would like to figure out how to get my lights back into the UDMSE. Manage updates. Yeah, the Unify LED app is definitely not here. All right, so I just did a um, quick Google search here with Bing. And it turns out that my LED lights have been migrated into Unify Connect. So I have to log, uh, well, SSH into the console and run a bit of a script. And then that should... Uh, connect them now i'm not going to do that in this video because not many people have leds but i wasn't aware that that had been migrated so um that's probably how to do that so the unify led product is now part of unify connect which is enterprise of things unify connect i'll link to the video um, from unify but it's all about things that you can manage through unify uh, for your enterprise like car chargers apparently um, and lights and doors and stuff so that's how that is um 
But for now, we have um, unify network, protect and access. And it seems to be working. So um, that wasn't exactly how I thought it would have gone. But to recap, I did a backup of the Unify console and of each app. So network protect, uh, access and LED. I couldn't actually use the Unify console migration script. That didn't seem to work. I had to set it up as a new machine. Um, and then I had to uh, use the backups from each application to set up network protect and access. And that seems to work just fine. Like those those backup scripts seems to work just fine, but that wasn't very clear. Um, and especially the whole thing where the Wi-Fi internet connection was working, but I couldn't access any access points. That was a bit odd, um, but I think I'm there now. Uh, apart from the LEDs, which I'll sort out later, um, I'm kind of there. Now the last thing, and I'm gonna go down to the house again, to the, um, to the server cabinet, is we're gonna plug that hard drive in and see if we can make it uh, run just off the hard drive that was in the UDM Pro for the for all the cameras. It might just delete everything, but that's fine too. But we'll see that, how that works. But that's the last step. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last step is um, to put in the hard drive. I'm gonna do it while it's running. Am I supposed to do that? I'm not sure. Yeah, let's find out. Blop. Just pull the tray out like that. Take the stick off. So that's the same as the UDM Pro. Looks exactly the same system, which makes sense. So we do that, and it should just click in here. There we go. Click. So now it's in the tray, snug. We'll stick it back in and see what blows up. I mean, see it works. Oh, I can hear it spinning. And, oh, it's red. Maybe I need to restart it. Oh no, no, flashing white. Look, it's white. All right. Yep. So that seems to um, to just work. Lovely. Um, so as I said, it does come with a 128 gig SSD to get you started with Protect, but um, this I think is a four terabyte uh, NAS um, drive, which is you want NAS drives or security drives, which are meant for spinning all the time because they're constantly recording, right? Um, that's it. It's all running. Took a bit more effort than I thought, but it's running. Okay, so I uh, I did have to restart the console after doing that trick with the hard drive. So <laughs> pro tip, turn it off, put the hard drive in, and then start it up again. I had to reset it or reformat uh, it as well because the other console, the UDM Pro, had uh, taken a, a partition or something. But anyway, it all works now. It's all good. Um, Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, if this was helpful, please consider subscribing. Give me a comment on what I might have messed up or whatever, but here are the steps that worked for me. So, first of all, uh, you don't need to back up the console itself, Unify OS, because I couldn't restore it anyway. Either the, you know, that it failed or it paused or it froze or it just didn't work. So I installed it from scratch as a new console. I then installed all the applications that I need. So there was, in this case, it was uh, Protect, uh, Network and Access. And obviously the LED ones are gonna come in the Unify Connect. And then I took a, a backup of each of those applications and then restored that backup onto the UDM SE. And that seemed to work a treat. Like that was very smooth, that just worked. Although the version has to be the same. So that was a bit odd. If you run another version, if you have version trouble, I'm not sure what to do about that, but that was um, those were the steps that worked for me. So set it up as new, use the uh, config backups for each application from the UDM Pro, restore those on the UDM SE for each app, um, and transfer the hard drive when it's turned off. <laughs> yeah, so that seemed to work, but wow. Um, 
Unify, please update your documentation because even the Bluetooth didn't work. I couldn't set it up on my Bluetooth on my phone. And I have a Pixel 5, relatively modern phone. It said Bluetooth was, was on the device, it was on my phone, and I just could not find it. It just wouldn't, wouldn't find anything. So that didn't work. Then I had to go and log in through sort of the, the Wi-Fi, which was kind of there, which was odd. Um, that certainly wasn't obvious. So yeah, um, I hope that helped though. So thanks for watching. Give me a comment on how you find this process, if you've done something similar, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.